Here on this leg and on this leg here. And so we hit the green check mark and there we go. That gives us our first uh, feature there in the tree that, uh, you know, that that leg. Now I'm just gonna show the the front and the right plane here just so you can kind of see what, what our plan is. Our plan next is to mirror that leg about both of these uh, planes here. And we're not gonna be doing this as a mirror feature we're not gonna go in here and say uh, mirror and then choose a feature to mirror. We're gonna go down here to bodies to mirror. So right now, currently you can see that the selection box is on features to mirror. Well, here's a pretty cool thing that I learned. Believe it or not, I learned this from Aaron C in the chat. Check this out. If you go into the solid bodies folder here in SolidWorks and you pre-select a body and then you pre-select a plane, what SolidWorks will do is when you go to the mirror command, SolidWorks will automatically use the bodies to mirror field in that box. See, normally when you go into the mirror command, you can choose features to mirror or faces to mirror or bodies to mirror. Well, if you do this, pick this, this body, then hold control, then pick a plane, then let go of control and then choose mirror, SolidWorks automatically does bodies to mirror here. And so if you take that one step further and you use the, the power move that I posted a couple of weeks ago where you modify the context menu so that mirror is right here, then what you can do is pick the body, hold control, pick the plane, let go of control, mirror, and then just hit the green check mark and you will have your uh, mirrored body here. And so we can do it again here. We can pick, hold control, pick these two bodies, pick the right plane, let go of control, mirror, and then hit the green check mark and boom, we're done with those mirrors. So. It's all really out of the box functionality. The only thing I really did to customize it was just modify this toolbar. But even if you didn't have this toolbar, you could just click here, mirror, and then you could right mouse button to finish. Keeps going merge solids for some reason on the first one because it's not multi-body yet. But once it's multi-body, then it'll it'll uh, it'll just kind of happen automatically. So we pick these two here, pick mirror, and then just come out here and right click. Boom, we're done with mirroring those bodies. So that's something new uh, that I discovered and that uh, I've been using a lot lately is pre-selecting a body from the tree and then choosing mirror. And that way it automates the process of uh, selecting the bodies to mirror. Nice little extra pro move there in this example.